Hi there, today I'm going to be sharing the Remant collection called Kenoko House. It's from 2008. It's also known as Mushroom Paradise. And so uh, I received this as part of my bigger haul, which I posted a video on my channel to show me opening that box and all of the sets that were inside of it. And so now I have the task of going through and trying to figure out which sets I have, if I'm missing any pieces and uh, I do like to have a, um, an index of what pieces I have like what remit sets I have so what I did was I went online and I downloaded the pictures of just the promo pictures of some of the sets sometimes I downloaded the the individual sets but that was starting to take a long time so I ended up going with just printing up these pictures that are like the larger pictures that show all of the sets on one in one photo and uh, my apologies for this video it's going to be a little weird because uh, the audio on this was very very bad um i had the wrong microphone selected and so um i'm going to narrate over top of it so my hand motions aren't going to necessarily be lining up with my narration but uh i thought i would show this video to you guys anyways instead of scrapping the whole thing so here is the close-up of the piece of paper that I just have that shows the collection. Of course, those images are so tiny, and then once you put it over to video, you're not going to be able to necessarily see the detail, but that's what I'm referring to as I open up each set. I'm just going to be checking and seeing if I have all the pieces. I know I'm missing some of the pieces. This is a used collection that somebody else had, um, and so you know it's going to be missing some pieces and that's okay so i'm starting here with the first set so this is set one and i'm just kind of taking a look to see if it's missing anything so this first set has this cute little mat and it is fuzzy on one side and it is plastic and it's a little bit flexible as you can see it's a cute little mushroom design so it fits with the theme, obviously, of this set, Mushroom Paradise. And so set one is a bit of a bedroom theme or maybe a bathroom theme. So this is some, what I'm guessing is maybe soap, like a soap dispenser. <clears throat> it's pretty cute. It looks like a mushroom. It's got the kind of bulb on the top with the red with the white dots on it. And then underneath is clear. And then there's a bowl here, and I'm not too sure why there's a bowl in this particular set. Uh, it doesn't really go with the other things, but it's a cute little bowl with a mushroom design in the bottom of it. And then we have these adorable little slippers, very similar to the other slipper sets that are in other Remet sets. Because same size and same kind of design, but they have a mushroom theme, of course. Really sweet. Then we have a two adorable little toothbrushes. I was so impressed with the detail and how, how tiny these are. And I'll try to get them up close so that you can really see. Look at those, they're so cute. And there's this little toothbrush holder. There are three holes in the toothbrush holder, but only two toothbrushes seem to come with a set. Even when I look at the picture, I don't think I'm missing one. But that little mushroom toothbrush holder is super cute too. I really love that. So here is a little green tray. It looks like it's a little glass tray. <clears throat> Obviously it's plastic, but it looks like it's supposed to be like a little, a little glass dish. And according to the picture, the toothbrush holder and this tiny little cup sit inside of the tray, maybe on your bathroom counter, and then the cup is for rinsing your mouth or having a glass of water before bed. So I'm calling this set Bedtime. I'm making up the names. I'm sure it has its own name, but I can't read the language. So, <clears throat> and here we have set number two. 
This set is probably my favorite. Oh boy, I'm going to say that over and over again, but really this is one of my favorites. I love this little casserole dish. It looks like, or pot or whatever you call it. It's so retro 70s style. I mean, obviously the mushroom theming is very retro uh, and all of the coloring, like the creams and the oranges and the reds and the browns. Oh my goodness. I was born in the 70s and I really love anything 70s. <laughs> it brings me back to my, my early childhood. Now this teapot or coffee pot, whatever you want to call it, uh, is very, very cute. Unfortunately, it is missing its little knob for the top. Uh, and that made me so, so sad, but keep watching because I'm not going to be sad for too long. So what I'm saying here, I remember what I said, was I can probably make a little, a little lid, a little knob out of, out of uh, polymer clay or maybe, you know, paint something and glue it into the hole or I'll figure something out because I love this set so much that I don't want it to not have a, a knob on the lid. So here is a cute little kitchen scale also with a, a little mushroom theme. This is so adorable. Rement has so many kitchen scales and uh, it's just neat to see all the different uh, ways that they, that they interpret a kitchen scale. I don't know what this piece goes to. It looks like a lid to something. And I'm just looking at the pictures here to see, am I missing something? It seems like I might be. Yes, yes, I'm missing a little... A little canister like a little clear canister but I actually think I know where it is so I'm gonna go into the the loose rement that the that the woman sent me and I think I'm gonna be able to find it so I'm just showing you what it looks like and indeed I did find a little glass well, obviously it's plastic, but glass-like canister and that lid seems to fit. And uh, I wasn't sure because this one has like a brown flower design around the edges of it. And it doesn't have a mushroom design, but when I look at it and squint my eyes, it looks like it's the same. It looks like the one that like it does have a brown flower design on it. It's just really hard to tell with that tiny, tiny photo. Anyhow, I'm going to use it as that because I don't really have any other piece to use for that. And then there's also this cute little mushroom scoop for whatever goes inside of that canister. And uh, it's really cute. It has like a little mushroom bulb on the top of it. Really sweet. And of course there's a tray. I don't think I showed you the tray, but the tray is really cute as well. So on to set number three. This is a fairly detailed set with lots of little interesting pieces. So we're starting with this little mirror and it does have a little, uh, a little stand that it's almost like a little kickstand that pops out and holds it up like that. It's really cute. Now in the picture, it shows that that little metal chain, I call those bathtub chains, but they're like little ball chains. Uh, it, it shows in the picture that that's connected to the mirror. I, I don't know how or why, and I'm not going to connect it because I don't think it really makes good sense, but it's there for that. Then there is this cute little plant. I really love rement plants. Really, really love them. It's probably my favorite thing is plants. So this little, of course, the plant comes out of the little container that it comes in. It looks like it's in a little glass cup or I, I like that you can see the dirt inside of it. It's kind of a different look than just having a regular pot. This plant looks almost like a like a cactus or succulent because it has this large bumpy green part and then the flower is on top. 
And then this is a little set of hooks, three hooks, and then this piece fits onto the hooks. This almost looks like something that you'd see in a primary school hanging on the wall where they've got different pockets and there are little papers inside of those pockets and some of the pockets have little mushroom designs on them. I'm not gonna take the papers out because I don't think I'd get them back in. It's a cute little concept, but what I really like this mushroom hook for would be to hang in my kitchen uh, right above my stove unit to hang little utensils off of so that's what I'm going to be using this little piece for it's gonna go into probably into my permanent display and I'll just use some command hooks or some com I mean some command tape to uh, attach that to my wall it also has this little calendar which doesn't have a year so it doesn't seem so outdated this set is from 2008 so it's a it's a pretty old set next we have set number four i'm just going to dump all the pieces out here and see what we have so this set has this cute little lunch box I think it's a lunch box and this lunch box seems like it would open when I look at it the way that it's structured I think that it should open but it doesn't open very easily and I'm wondering if maybe the previous owner might have even glued it shut because it looks like it has one of those uh, little loopy things that might have not stayed in place and I, I think the idea of gluing it shut might be good <laughs> so so I'm not going to pry it open but it does look like it, it would open if you have this set, let me know because I am curious. I didn't want to break it and I didn't want to have to re-glue it if she glued it uh, because I, I just like it as it is. I'm never going to want to open it. So I'll just leave it since it's nicely closed. Then there's this really sweet package of, of sweets and they're mushroom themed sweets. I'll give you a bit more of a close-up and the package is see-through and you can see the little detailed treats inside. I think they're candies, mushroom shaped candies. So really detailed packaging. I'm really pleased with that. And then we have a little, this is a little pastry baggy, I guess. And I'm not sure what's supposed to go in that, but there is a cookie in this set. So I'm going to put the cookie in it when I'm, when I get to the cookie. I have to check the little picture to see what everything is. I don't know what's supposed to go with what, but we have two of these little mushroom shaped candies and it looks like I might've been missing some of them because it looks like the container in the picture is a little bit more full than that. But there's a little container with a mushroom cap lid. Oops, there we go. It fell on the floor. It seems like every time I film one of these videos, something falls on the floor. So that's what falls on the floor today. Then we have a shorter little container and these are really cute. Oh, I found another one of the little mushroom yellow candies. So I'll put that in there. Just like that. It looks better with more in it. It's more full. Now I'm going to show you these cookies and they're so detailed. They look like little chocolate chip cookies. Sorry that my hand is out of frame, but I'll bring it in in a second. There you go. So these are little mushroom shaped chocolate chip cookies. And I left one flipped over so you could see the detail on the back side. So it really does look like a real baked cookie. So there you go. And then I'm flipping it around so you can see the back detail. There you go. So nice. Next we have this little canister, which I put the cookies in already, the little blue one. And then there's this other little frosted cookie. It's a tiny, tiny little, it looks maybe like a shortbread or a cookie cutter type of cookie. And I'll show you it up close. It has like royal frosting with the dots on it, really cute. 
And I'm going to put that in the little pastry bag because I don't really have anything else. I know a pastry bag is what you use to decorate a cookie with. So that's not the right word for that, but it's like a little baggie, like a food baggie. So there's that set. Next, I'm going to be pouring out the contents of set number five. Set number five is a pasta dinner. It has this little paper placemat, which back in these days, you didn't have to cut those out. They seemed to be already cut out and, and in the set. So we have this little dish. It's like a little pasta bowl, which is a deeper than a plate, but more shallow than a bowl. It has a really nice mushroom design on it. I think I'm going to show it a little bit more close than that. Yeah, there we go. Love the red and brown. Oh my goodness. I am such a 70s girl. So there's the pasta. It looks like it's a linguine, like a mushroom linguine sauce. And this is one of those action sets. I really love action sets, which are, which is a set where something is being done. And in this case, the spaghetti is being picked up and there is, so the spaghetti fits in the bowl and then there is a little fork. I'm going to try to put the spoon on there, but it's not going to fit. It'll take me a minute to figure out, oh, does it go this way? Nope. Does it go that way? Nope. And then I decided, oh, wait a second. It doesn't make sense to be eating pasta with a spoon. So, so there we go. So the fork goes like that. And then it looks like somebody's taking a bite or a boat to take a bite out of this delicious mushroom linguine pasta. Really, really nice. Then we have this little menu. And it looks like this was pre-cut, like it looks manufactured. It doesn't look hand cut to me. So it's nice that back in the day, you didn't have to cut everything out. This seems like a menu card holder, like one of those just little slotted items at a restaurant. I'm trying to figure out what everything is here because the picture is so tiny, I couldn't figure it all out. But these are, this is a book of matches. I'm not exactly sure why, or I guess a box of matches. I'm not exactly sure why there are matches in this set, other than maybe like to light a candle on the table, but there is no candle. So anyhow, there's a box of matches. The font, like the, the print on the front of the box of matches is a little bit smudged just from age, like it might have been stored next to something. And so I'm just going to show how those matches fit in the box. And then there is one extra match out that you can just, it's nice to have a little clump of things and then have one single item that you can put beside it to make it look more realistic. So there's that. I think I'm going to show the menu holder up close as well. It's just like one of those menu holders that you'd see at a cafe or a restaurant. Of course, it has a mushroom on it. Next, I'm going to show you the little bowl of soup that comes with this little set. Adorable little mushroom design on the front of the bowl. And then the soup is so realistic. I love these older sets. So much more realistic than the modern ones. Also a little bit smaller. And so here's the little spoon for eating your soup. Oh, I'm just dying of cuteness over overload. Here is the next set. This is set number six. I'm sorry that I'm pouring these out of frame. I was at a bit of an awkward angle as I filmed this. So this is a little lamp and it comes complete with a little plug, a little cord and a little plug. It's really, really adorable and it would look super cute on the desk that I got in that haul. Oh my goodness, actually, yes, it will look amazing on that desk. I have to go do that. Look at that little cord. It's so cute. And the little plug. Very nice. I like the detail. They, they didn't even have to put a light bulb in there because you're not really going to see it unless, <laughs> except for when you take it apart. But uh, Rement is very good with detail. Very good with detail. 
I'm going to try to put these in a place where you guys can see them as I'm talking about them instead of off screen, but it's going to take me a while to get the hang of it. So here's a book. It's a Remet book. Remet makes a couple of different kinds of books. This one is just a solid piece of plastic and it's the harder kind of plastic. It's like what most Remet pieces are made out of. Some Remet books are that rubbery kind of material and I find that when they use the rubbery material, the stickers don't stick to it for very long. Even the pages have, even though the pages are just, it's just a hunk of plastic, uh, but they do have like the ridges in it. So it's got a little bit more detail than what some, some miniature books have. These are some little book ends. And one of them has a little mushroom knob or peg on it or something. And I'm not sure what that's for. I checked out the picture and it doesn't seem to do anything other than be cute. So that's all right. So that would look really cute also on the desk with a couple of more books as well. Uh, little tiny mushroom pencils with mushroom tops on them. They're so cute. really sweet and they go inside of this little mushroom pencil holder cup go in just like that there you go perfect last but not least we have this little ruler with a mushroom on one end of it <laughs> it's so cute oh that wasn't last but not least oh, this is last but not least we have some stationery a little piece of writing paper and a little envelope. Such a cute set. I love this. Here comes set number seven. This set features a little game and a chair and a little measuring thing. So here's the game. The, the playing board uh, kind of slides out and then it, there's this case that can hold the little game pieces and I don't know what this this game is it looks maybe like checkers but of course there aren't enough squares on the on the board for checkers the pieces are double-sided with red on one side and blue on the other side so it might just be a game that I'm just not familiar with here are those game pieces little blue and red mushroom pieces and like I said they're blue on one side and red on the other side super cute in we go shake it around and close the lid and there you go it's a cute little game now we have this little measuring thing and it looks like maybe a doctor's office measuring thing um, maybe at a children's hospital or something but uh, it doesn't have any way of attaching to a wall or anything but uh, and it doesn't have a stand but it's pretty cute a little mushroom themed and then of course an adorable little mushroom chair Oh, I love that. So cute. Of course, the remit furniture is very strangely sized, so it's uh, difficult to use with the pieces. But ah, here we go. So I am missing another thing, but I'm going to go into my little loose remits stash and find the missing piece. So I don't know if this is the exact piece that it's that it that is missing but it looks like it's the right piece to me it does kind of like the lid doesn't snap on or grip on so that makes me think I might have the wrong piece but it really does look like it's the right piece and it's the right shape so uh, anyhow usually remit lids stay on a little bit better than that but occasionally they don't so there we go next is this really funky mushroom themed shelf it has this little drawer in the bottom part of it. And as you can see, it's very fun, very whimsical. I think it would look super cute in a little bedroom, like on a bedside table, for example. Adorable little mushroom clock. And what is this? Oh, it's a little mushroom uh, themed picture frame. And I figured out that you can actually slip a little photo in behind that shows in the in the frame. 
and uh, it actually came with that little ladybug photo so I thought that was cute but you could replace it with your own photo like a picture of your doll for example or your your doll's parents or your doll's partner uh, then there's this cute little little candle that's gonna go missing on me but uh, for now I have it <laughs> and, and uh, it's really cute it's blue which is which is interesting and a little bit different so next is the second last set set number nine and it has a gardening theme and I love 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 rement plants as I already said I'm just having a look here to see if it comes apart or not it doesn't seem to come apart these plants are very realistic very very nice I like the little bucket it's an interesting thing it looks like two buckets that are stuck together uh, it's a really interesting shape I've never seen that before oops sorry my hand is in the way uh, then we have a little, um, this looks like a little pot holder. I'm not sure why it's in with the gardening stuff, but it's some type of a cloth or it's, you know, plastic version of a cloth. It's cute. You could hang it on a, on a hook is what I'm demonstrating there. So that is cute. And then we have this adorable blue bucket and one of the things that I love about this set is that it's not all like pink and white and cream and purple and stuff like these are nice colors, nice kind of like grown up colors. Um, sorry, my hand just seems to hover there with, <laughs> when I'm not showing things. So sorry about that. A little adorable dustpan and broom with little mushroom motifs on it. Super, super cute. Looks really great next to the bucket. Move hand. There you go. <laughs> I obviously didn't realize I was even doing that. So last but certainly not least and actually probably my favorite or one of my favorite things is this basket from this picnic set that I'm about to show you. Now watch what happens here because as I'm taking this out I see something brown in there and I'm like what the heck? I, no way. It is the knob for the lid of the coffee pot that I was so disappointed the knob was missing for. So there you go. We have a knob for our coffee pot lid now. So hooray for that. I don't have to figure out how to make one. It wouldn't have looked nearly as good as the original one. So I'm very, very pleased about that. Yay. Next, I'll show you the basket and the straw. So it has this uh, paper grass inside of the basket and the basket itself, as you can see, it's super realistic. Look at that basket weaving, so realistic. And I love the turquoise mushroom motif around the edges of that basket. And then um, it looks like I might have the secret set here because it's not the color that the picture shows so the picture shows it in red and green and I kind of wish it was red and green I don't much care for this color of blue here but the blue does show up elsewhere in the collection so and so does the yellow so you know I guess it's nice to have more of those colors in here I just really like the red uh, the red and white dots and I really like that lime green that's a few places in this set and it would have been in more places if I had the the same number 10 that everybody else has but anyhow this set is like a little tea party picnic set I guess because it doesn't have food or anything for the picnic basket it just has some teacups so this is the blue teacup on a little flower like saucer and then it does have a mushroom cap lid with a little ladybug on it so there's the lid for your coffee cup to keep maybe it's to keep the insects out of it when you're outside on your picnic <laughs> and then there's a little blue spoon with a little blue mushroom on the top of it I think that those lids are to keep the heat inside of your tea and there's a little yellow plate a saucer and a little white cup and then the little yellow mushroom cap of course this is very difficult to do in the palm of your hand but there you go <laughs> so that is it for this set here is a little zoom in of all of the pieces all together 
This is a really fun set and I'm so glad that I have it. It's These older sets are so beautifully detailed and gorgeous. So thanks so much for watching this one. It looks at the 29 minute like I have to speed these up a little bit in the future because it's a, a bit of a time investment for looking at one remint set. But I just love the details. So um, I will try to speed it up as I do these. But thanks so much for sticking with me to the end. Take care and have a great week. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you like these kinds of videos, please subscribe to my channel. I have other remit videos, and if you go back in my channel, you will find some pull-up reviews, a whole bunch of them actually, and some doll room videos and a few other things. So take care and leave me a comment if you have anything to say.